Hello, hello! I'm so glad to be finally back with a new crochet tutorial for you. I know it's been a while and thank you so much for being so patient with me, for your kind comments on my latest community post where I shared that I've been sick with COVID. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate all your kindness. I apologize for my coarse, rough voice. I'm COVID negative, but I do still have this lingering symptoms and unfortunately I have this pretty bad cough that I still deal with. Okay, now let's move on to today's project. It's a lacy scarf worked with only one row repeat and the yarn that I used is Universe Hobby XL. The pattern is pretty simple. You might have seen this stitch or similar stitch before. However, why did I choose to share this pattern with you? Well, what happens is oftentimes people buy Hobby Universe yarn because it has such beautiful colors, then they have hard time coming up with an idea of what actually to make with this yarn. So I wanted to create a project specifically for Hobby Universe XL yarn. And no, I'm not affiliated with the Hobby brand in any way. I simply like this yarn. I like the scarf that I made and I want to share it with you. So I used two skeins of Hobby Universe XL yarn. This is 200 grams in total and the final measurements of the scarf are about 53 inches long and 10 inches wide. I worked with a hook size F 3.75 millimeters but please be careful not to mistake this yarn Hobby Universe XL with this one, which is just Hobby Universe, because these two yarns, even though they have the same colors, they are of different thickness. This yarn is category three, but this is category one. So XL, this is the yarn that I'm using for this project. I'm going to start the tutorial in a minute and I also want to mention that I do have the written pattern in my Etsy shop and I priced it at only $1.99 and I do want to ask you if you do have opportunity and chance to support me and support my work, please do purchase that pattern and many of you have been supporting me on this channel. Some of you have been making donations through the Super Chats option. That's when you make a highlighted comment with a small amount of money that you donate. I don't know if many people are aware that 50% of those donations actually go to YouTube and the other 50% goes to me. But when you purchase a pattern from my shop, it's about 30% from the sale that goes to Etsy to cover all the fees and 70% goes directly to me. And also when you purchase a pattern from my Etsy shop, you really help me keeping my shop active. And when Etsy sees that the shop is making sales, it's more likely to show it to new customers and to recommend it to new people. So by purchasing my pattern, not only you help me financially, but you also help me keeping my shop active so I can continue working on my crochet projects and sharing them with you. But of course, I understand these are very difficult, challenging times. So if you're not able to help me, don't worry. Please take care of yourself first. And I'm still happy to share my work with you. In that case, just please watch my tutorial. Thank you so much to all of you. You all have been a huge blessing to me. I start with 59 chains. And I crochet them quite loosely. One, two, three, four, five. So here are my 59 chains. I'm ready to start the first row. And into the fourth chain from the hook, I will make a double crochet. One, two, three, four. So over here, I make a double crochet. Now these three skipped chains also count as a double crochet. So now it counts as I have two stitches, two double crochets already worked. 
Next, one chain, and I skip four chains. One, two, three, four. And into the next chain, I work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Next, two chains, one, two, and into this same chain where I already worked four double crochets, I work one more double crochet. So now I have this shell that has four double crochets, then two chains and one double crochet. So it's a tilted shell. Next, I make two chains, one, two, and again, I skip four chains, one, two, three, four, and into the next one, I work a double crochet. And into the next chain again, I work a double crochet. And this was already one pattern repeat. Now the pattern repeats from over here. One chain and skip four chains. One, two, three, four, and into the next one, I work four double crochets, one, two, three, four, then two chains, one, two, and into the same chain I work one more double crochet, two chains, one, two, and I skip four chains again. Now be careful over here because after you work all these double crochets into the same chain, the next chain might become small and difficult to see, but you need to count it anyway. So one, two, three, four, and into the next one, a double crochet. And into the next chain again, a double crochet. And that's how this row goes. Uh, another thing I want to mention here is over here before the shell you make only one chain, but after the shell you make two chains. So keep that in mind. So here is my first row. It's now finished and it ended with two double crochets. I turn my work and I start the next row with three chains. One, two, three. These three chains count as my first double crochet. And now into the next, the second double crochet, I work a double crochet. And now I'm going to work the pattern repeat exactly the same as in the previous row, but I will be working it into the shell now. So first one chain, I skip this next chain two space and into this chain two space, the chain two space of the shell, I work the same sequence. First, four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Two chains and into the same space, one more double crochet. So here I have my tilted shell again. Then two chains, one, two, I skip these four double crochets and I skip this chain one space and into each one of these two double crochets I work a double crochet. One and two. And the pattern begins to repeat from here. One chain, into the chain two space of the shell I work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four, then two chains, and into the same chain two space, one more double crochet. Two chains, one, two, I skip these four double crochets and into each one of these two, I work a double crochet. And that's it. That's how the second row goes. 
and here I am at the end of the row and I just want to show you something over here so over here I have two double crochets and I need to work a double crochet into each one of those two double crochets now the very last double crochet is actually turning chain chain three and a little trick here is to make your last double crochet not into the third or top chain of these three chains but into the middle one into the second one like this and what it does for you here is it's gonna create a better straighter edge of the scarf so now I turn my work and the next row is going to be exactly the same as the previous row as row number two this is the one row repeat and again at the end try making that last double crochet into the middle chain instead of the top chain and see if you like that way better and i'm going to show it to you over here what i mean do you see how straight this edge is but if you were to make the last double crochet into the top chain it would be a little bit more scalloped i do hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and perhaps you will make this scarf for yourself for a friend or a family member